Okay, so real talk, I want to let everyone know, if you're not following me on Instagram, first of all, please follow me on Instagram. Here I am on Instagram. It's also in my link tree. I should have that linked in all of my videos down below. But I have been posting reels. So if you want, like, in real time updates to things, go to my reels. Like, let me take out my headphones so you can hear one of them. Oh, it's already out. Okay. Um, like, I'm doing little trends and stuff. I'm using this mainly so I can advertise, start getting eyes more on my account. Because, you know, Instagram announced we're not doing pictures anymore. Like, you can post them, but they don't push them. So, screw you, Instagram. But, like, here's just an example. No, this is what I want. Finish art piece. New art challenge. Let's see your beginning stage, your midway stage, your halfway stage, and then you finish art piece. New so yeah, I'm posting stuff like that. Also, even like cute little trends like this one. Attention all artists, I want to see your sketch versus your final. I want to see how messy they are or how neat they are. So use this sound so we can all see. Attention all. So, yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, that would be awesome. I'm trying to get the algorithm to notice me because this is going to be my main way of advertising because overall I do not get a lot of views on YouTube. And I have people who come to my streams, but I don't have a lot of people. So I'm trying to get more eyes. Like, you see, these do. I wish I got these numbers on YouTube. Oh, 3,000. Consistently 3,000. Even 1,800. Even 900 and something, 73, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> These are all, this is, I did this in February Fairy, and then this was February Fairy, and then I started trying to follow some trends and stuff. Like, this one is just, like, my desk. Show me the way your desk setup looks right now. No cheating. I'm tired of seeing all these super RGB setups. I want to see the reality. I want to see what your desk really looks like right now. So, yeah, that'd be awesome if y'all could help me out with that.
So I have been working on clay stuff. Two of these might be like this one right here, especially. Two of these are a little thin. I'll see once I paint it how I feel because some of these are thicker and some of them are thinner. It's really hard to get it all the same size. But as long as I say that it is handmade, people cannot be upset if it isn't like, you know, like it's made from a, a factory. Because, you know, I'm making this in my bedroom. But yeah, I will also sand these so I see all the rough edges and stuff. That'll get sanded off. I made. 10 of these, which is the birdhouses, and 12 of these, which is the frogs. I might just make a frog pin and a frog magnet just, you know, for myself. I like that design. I might give my mother the magnet and keep the pin. She likes frogs too. I want to make them this color and not the stereotypical green color. So, I think I have a paint that color. Um, these little balls, I'm going to turn into ladybug earrings they're not perfectly flat or rounded i'm gonna sand them into shape so that way they're more not like this one's a little pointy and i'm gonna make those clip on earrings i'll show you let me get it open so here's how it looks before you put anything on it and then and this is how it looks when it's opened all of my metal is bought off Amazon so I'm gonna put it on put it up as not fake you know the word it sounds like fox f-a-u-x I believe it's spelled fox metal and I'll put the color but this is not pure gold I don't have the money for pure gold there's no way this is pure gold I got it off Amazon but I'm going to be honest about it not being pure metals because some people have metal allergies just so that they know ahead of time. Hey, this isn't pure silver. This isn't pure gold. It's not pure bronze or copper, you know. But, yeah. That's what the little balls are. Um, these I didn't end up making extra of. I only have this much clay left, which is not a lot. It's less than how it looks because then it's wrapped up. And I still have three more designs, so I'm going to have to get more. I'll probably get that. I'll get that whenever my stickers come in the mail. And, um, yeah. So this is what I have so far. Um, so yeah, I'm making five, uh, magnets and five pins. See which one sells first or if they both sell out then I know people like both for this and this some clip-on earrings um these designs as well I know I want the green one I like the brown one I'm not a hundred percent in love with this one so this one I might change or just go to the stereotypical red and white one just so there's something familiar on there I don't know but these two will be um designs unless I change my mind last minute this is an aspen mushroom and this is a parrot wax cap I like the idea of not having the same kinds of mushrooms as everybody else that way it's something that stands out and it's different I'm kind of thinking there's a little too much green and yellow going on in here but I have time before I paint these these still have to dry I'm using air dry clay not polymer clay because air dry clay is more affordable for me I know some people prefer polymer clay, but I've seen people sell stuff that is air dry, so I know that it is possible as long as you add on resin and stuff to make it more durable, which I will be doing at the ending stage. I also bought gloves so I don't touch the resin. I have a fan going on. I might turn on my bathroom fan as well. Just so I don't completely breathe in the fumes because I've been using it without gloves and every time I regret it. That's what I got so far. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is I am getting a big piece of watercolor paper and I am just splattering colors that fit within the color scheme of my frog pins. I will have in the next vlog me coloring in the other ones. I think I recorded it. If not, ignore that. <laughs> but um, 
I'm doing this so I can get backing cards without having to pay for them because I don't have unlimited resources to keep paying for everything, so I have to use some of the stuff I already have. And you'll see by the end of the vlog, I actually really like how it looks. It's very unique. The only thing that makes me sad is people will probably throw the card away. So I'm going to ask people if you buy something, please reuse the card as a bookmark or something because I actually really like them and I feel bad that the perfectly good watercolor paper card is going to get thrown away. But um, yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. I'm just splattering on colors and stuff like you'll see me doing teals and purples and blues because, you know, the frock pin was purple and teal with some pink like blushies and stuff so that's all i'm really doing in this section but i hope you enjoyed the paint splatters and stuff <laughs> to resin them today but I think I'll wait till tomorrow so I can do it um, when it's not getting cold out because right now it's getting to be a little warm but by the time I'm done with all this it won't be as warm and I have other stuff to do today so yeah also if I have time today I want to cut this down into backing cards. This is a watercolor paper. It will be flattened before I uh, sell something. I'm not going to give people warped paper. But um, I'm trying to get it in the frame here. I made this. That's not that bad. I made this so that we don't have to use the printer or buy more things. I already have lots of watercolor paper. And since these are so small, I can make enough backing cards, I think, with one sheet. So I'm going to do that today. I'm excited. If I have time, anyway. I'm going to do this today. So I want to paint these and cut these. But I also have the birdhouses. I also want to paint. I'll stick to the frogs first and see how I feel. I don't want to overwork myself. Because I'm learning very quickly that, that starting a business is hard. I can't imagine what running it's going to be like. So I'm doing my best over here. So this will be the first of, I think, two voiceover sections. This one will be me painting. Um, 
if you want to see me painting in real time, there is an archive that I am assuming is live before this vlog comes out. And then there will also be another archive of me sculpting other pins because I can't find the clips for making these ones, but you never know. It might have made it into the vlog. At the time of me recording this voiceover, I cannot find them, but um, maybe they made it in. So when I'm painting these, I start off by sanding. I do this because I am not using a cookie cutter. I am cutting it out around a paper template. So it looks very rough on the edges. I probably should have sanded maybe a little more because it looks still a little rough. But also this is air dry clay. It's not as firm, at least not in my experience, as like polymer clay, but I haven't used polymer clay so I can't 100% confirm. But from what I've seen people do with polymer clay, Polymer clay seems way stronger, but it's also way more expensive. I can get a little over two pounds of clay at Walmart for a little over seven dollars, as opposed to a couple ounces of polymer clay at Michael's for like three dollars or four dollars. So right now, at least starting out, it's going to be air dry clay, but once I put resin earthing on it, it's way more durable. But yeah, back to the actual painting. <laughs> I sand it first and then I prime it with white craft paint. I don't use a gesso or anything fancy, it's just white craft paint. And then I let that dry and then I start painting on top with the actual colors. The reason why I use the white craft paint instead of just painting directly on it is because I want it to have a smoother texture and I also feel like it'll fill up some of the gaps. And also paint kind of goes on to paint really easily so it just makes it a better surface to paint on it's kind of like why you get a, a pre-primed canvas it just paints better on it primer on there the uh, pores have sucked up a lot of paint so they won't suck up your paint as much when you're putting on the layers so you can properly like make it even and stuff without it drying as fast i use craft paint currently and also posca pens Posca pens are hard to use with this. I think I'm not being patient with the um, paint to be 100% dry before I actually start painting. Because Posca pen doesn't want to smoothly draw on top of craft paint on clay very easily. But I might just, like I said, just not being patient because when I put the eyes on the frogs, it went on very nice. When I'm trying to do um, other pins that I have made since this vlog, it, they should be in the next one. When I was doing those, it had a hard time trying to like go on smoothly. But it could just be because they are craft paint. All craft paint is not the exact same. Even when it claims to be matte, it still has this kind of like weird texture to it. So that might just be why it's like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. This is the sped up version. If you want to see the real time, like I said, um, this should be already up live as a live stream archive on the channel. So if you want to see this in real time, plus me talking about things I probably forgot to mention in this vlog or whatever, feel more than free to have that on the background while you clean, do your taxes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you, whatever you be doing. Just have me on in the background. It helps me out. Give me something to listen to. I should remember to link that below, but if not, you can just go on my channel and you'll just you'll see it. The next time I do voiceover, I'll be talking about resin. Resin is a pain. I'm just giving you spoilers now. Pain in the neck. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. And um, I know this is rambly, but I hope you enjoy the vlog anyway. And then after this, I think I'll make a template and start cutting down the cards while I let this cure for a bit. I'm gonna move this off.
because they're approximately the same size. And also, the water kind of is a little thicker. The back of these are kind of ugly, but. Considering it's a handmade card, I don't think anyone will really be angry. I can always incorporate. This thing, for some reason, rubs the black off onto paper, which is annoying. But now I'm going to see how well this fits. Okay, it fits in a black bag. Not a black, a paper, a plastic bag. And it'll fit perfectly fine into these. Alrighty, which is great. So if people want to buy more than one, I could fit. I could definitely fit two in here. Okay, I have this little scrap piece that I can use to test out patterns. Um, are any of these secured enough? Okay, they're secured enough to where I don't think the color will transfer over. Oh, I love it. Yes. Honestly, I might not ever want to buy packing cards. I like that. Okay, I'm going to cut the rest of them. white speckles that will be touched up to end. Why are my fingertips so sensitive now though? I still have to have the details drawn on, but I'm liking the progress. I'm liking the progress. And this one also looks a little high, so we'll take this one. I love them. I'll have to go through another color of the white so it doesn't look purple. Just the purple starting to rub on here and the, it looks dry. Currently streaming. This is how far I've gotten. I made the backing cards. And I love them. I was going to put patterns, but you know what? I kind of like it just as a watercolor. A watercolor is a pattern in and of itself. So I have the cards. I painted the frogs. I know that they're not all exactly the same. That's because it's handmade and I don't have a cookie cutter, so it's not going to be exact. This is how it's going to look on the backing card. Only it's not shiny yet because I haven't put the resin on. I'll probably do that tomorrow or the next day. I want them to cure for a long time 
Um, I'm experimenting over here. I can't really see a difference, so I might just leave it alone. I was trying to make a dark outline. That didn't work. Um, so I have two that are kind of jacked up. And I'll, like, this one's completely, like, eh. And that one's a little lopsided, a little too lopsided for me. So these two will be my tests. And I did make two extras for tests anyway. So, yes, I am excited. Things are coming along. I kind of want to make all of these pins and then make another batch of magnets, but I'll just make five pins for now. I have 18 backing cards, so if they sell out, I have backing cards. Yeah, I'm going to get back to this now. Lunch. I made myself a salad and a ham and cheese panini, I guess. It's a grilled cheese sandwich, but it has ham in it, so I guess it's a panini. <laughs> Yum. Okay, now we're going to get to resin. I did a whole long voiceover and I hated it, so we're doing it over, and hopefully this is more concise and to the point, because I was boring myself listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> My main issue with resin is that I'm using UV resin, and it stays tacky until it's till it doesn't. Um, if you put it outside, it gets hard way quicker, but I'm going through pollen season right now, and pollen gets on everything, and I do not want everything to have a layer of yellow pollen all over it, so I can't put stuff outside right now. But, you can use a UV lamp, which is what I normally use. But UV lamps take forever. And my UV lamp is a cheap UV lamp made for people who use UV gel or whatever it is for nails. I don't know, I don't really do nails. One day I'll paint my nails. I go through a lot trying to get it to cure, because even if you touch it to see if it's tacky, your fingerprint now has dulled that one spot. And it's like, oh, okay. It's, 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 it's emotional. So what I'm trying to do currently is just try to put it in a window instead because like in the video you see me using a lamp but I used a lamp and then I put them outside. At the time we didn't have a pollen problem but now it's getting into pollen as a problem so pollen problem. Woohoo! I resin one side, I try to make it, make sure it's hard and then I flip it over resin the other side. I did do a test for the magnet and the pin because I'm doing each design at a play currently. It'll be a magnet or a pin. I'll be selling five of each. Uh, so, I tested to see if the glue reacted because I had this other glue that made it look more cloudy on the back. And I didn't want it to look terrible when I'm trying to sell it. I know it's the back, but it's still it's a whole thing. You don't want the back to be like, it's cute, just don't flip it over. Give me money, please. It doesn't sound good, so no. So I did test out glue with the first one. The glue goes fine. It doesn't look 100% beautiful, the glue, but it's not foggy and stuff, and like it's glue. It is still the back, it's just not nearly as bad, I'm looking at it right now, as like the stuff that I did before. I am using pretty strong magnets too, so if you want a magnet, it will be able to hold at least something. Maybe not hold like a pile of things. I mean, it will definitely hold like some papers or whatever. Um, I'm using bigger magnets than I wanted to use because the other ones aren't that strong. I might just make some magnet designs in the future where it's like a decorative magnet, which means it's not actually meant to hold anything. So that when no one gets angry, like, it doesn't hold anything up. It's not meant to, it's meant to just be cute. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I've kind of rambled within this resin section, because I don't really don't know what much to say about it at this current time, except for it's a pain, and I hate doing this part. This part I absolutely despise. But it does look nice when you get it done properly. So I do recommend UV resin. Just make sure you at least put gloves on and have some air circulating and prepare for a long, dragged-out fight. Because, like, for these, I resined, and then I saw there was dust and stuff that fell into the resin, so then I painted over the resin, let that dry, resined it again, and then was to another spot that, for some reason, decided to show up. So, it, it, it was a pain. But I hope that me whining about how much of a pain it was... Will at least show you some things you can do in the future. Also, I did not know this, but apparently if you use a heat gun, you can pop the bubbles and it won't have all the bubbles in the 
whatever in the in the resin. It won't have all the little bubbles that kind of look terrible. But I don't have a heat gun, so I looked it up and it says you can use a blow dryer. So I'll test that on the back of one of them to see if that works. And if it works, I'm going to be so happy. One less thing for me to fight over. It'll be great. So, um, yeah, I'll probably update you if that's the next vlog, the vlog after that, about how that went. But for now, look at my cute little pin. I think it's really super cute. And, um, yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of the vlog. I don't know where I'm placing any of this yet. I'm still just kind of just recording voiceovers so I have them. So when I edit it, I have all the stuff I need. So, yep, I'll see you all wherever this vlog lands, or if this is the end of the vlog, I'll see you all later. Bye! Okay, so I've made my test pin. And I absolutely love how this looks. See, it's shiny. But I did it entirely in this thing, and that takes forever. The sun is slightly out right now, so I'm gonna resin them, put them in the UV for a minute. This is the magnet not dry yet but it's not foggy when with resting with the glue because when I used it the metal the metal jewelry glue see how that white it just chemically reacts with everything that looks terrible so I'm not using that glue anymore plus it pain in it to get off your hands gloves doesn't help it just tears the gloves but yeah what was I saying oh the sun's slightly out so I'm gonna put them in the UV lamp just so they're kind of tacky and then stick them in the sun Put a timer on for like 10-20 minutes and just leave them out there. You can kind of see where it got a little dull from my hand touching it. This is just a test. I might even put on the back. Test. But I'll see how well this glue stays once it's perfectly dry. But it doesn't fog up on top of the resin. This I put... Whoop! put the glue on. Didn't wait really for it to dry because I was impatient. I didn't really wait for the glue to dry so the glue's kind of wet underneath the hardened resin. So in the future I'm going to have to either, I'm probably going to glue all the pins on and then let that, let that dry overnight and then put the resin on. But yeah. Also there's a little bunch of little bubbles in this one. I'm going to try my best to not have bubbles but I'm just going to say my first store run is going to be my first time doing a lot of things. So, as I get better at doing this, it'll look better. This is my first time doing something like this. But I'm going to go and resin all of these now, and I will put in a clip of them outside, I suppose, if I remember. Debating if I want to paint the birdhouses today or if I want to do something else today. I'm not really feeling the birdhouses anymore, so I think what I'm going to do next, let him dry and I'll work on setting up some playthrough parts for my gaming channel. At least make the thumbnails and set up the first two parts of Jedi Fallen Order that I've edited and haven't put live yet so i'm gonna go do that i think now just a heads up jedi fallen order is going live on the channel right now and if you haven't checked out my uh, youtube channel in a while i have a lot of playthroughs on here and i'm catching up on videos i haven't done yet so far we have half-life portal stories mel which i will be doing a new playthrough of because this is a twitch archive and i was sick at the time and i want to make one i'm not coughing and dying and what else do I have? I have Bioshock, Bioshock 2, Tomb Raider Legend, Portal 1. I have Aperture Desk Job, just released. Um, I'm currently doing Jedi Fallen Order, and after this, it will be Portal 2. So if you enjoy any of those types of games, please follow and subscribe to my gaming channel because it's very small, and I'm trying to get to at least 200 subscribers to get a custom URL. And I am also wanting to get to a thousand subscribers so I can have a community page for the gaming channel. So if you want to help me out in other ways besides watching me and following me for the store and for my artwork, please support my gaming channel. Also, I stream on Twitch, as you have seen 
that the painting section of this was done on Twitch. It was a Twitch stream. Uh, my Twitch is in the link tree below the every video, along with my gaming channel, my Twitter, my Twitch. Like, everything that I pretty much use, the new stuff I don't use, is on there. So, if you want to follow me at the spots, please go there. Thank you.